Welcome to Stoic Live, where we talk about the latest fishing and hunting topics. Testing. One, two, three. We are live, guys. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the first episode of Stoic Live live so i wanted to change it up for you guys man i do a lot of fishing and hunting yes but uh based on uh, my recent life uh things that are going on in my life right now i wanted to change it up and just talk to you guys and make this more of a, like a live broadcast don't really like edit the video as much as i normally do because that's like one of the things that i really really don't like to do is edit videos especially long videos 30 minute 40 minute videos so i wanted to make this video just to be talking to you guys and eventually I want to be able to rip the audio and put it on like a little bit of a video podcast man so uh, I thought that'd be pretty cool for you guys just to change it up instead of doing the same stuff over and over again so let me pull up my notes here real quick and uh, yeah man I wanted to give you guys two quick life updates of why I haven't been posting as much I know I have a lot of people on YouTube a lot of people on Facebook, uh, TikTok, and uh, people have actually been sending me emails like, yo, bro, why haven't you been making videos? Well, once uh, once you have a kid, man, your, your priorities really change. I still enjoy fishing. I still enjoy hunting. But when I'm off, man, uh, I really want to spend time with her and my brothers and my family. Recently, my father-in-law passed away and uh, lost my dad a while back. So I always... Uh, try to do things with the family just to try to make memories just to try to like you know go out to like a pumpkin patch you know halloween times is right now thanksgiving's coming up christmas but um i still wanted to make videos because that's what i enjoy doing as well man i like my business stoic outdoors and the whole mindset is uh be resilient on the water and off so i still wanted to keep pushing through so let's uh let's get into this topic of the video which is how to uh, fish for South Texas redfish, or this, let's just let's just title it South Texas redfish fishing tips. I wanted to give you guys three tips that you can take home, and uh, you can also comment below if you have your own tips. If you guys have had something that that really really works for you, and you wanted to share it with other people, that's what I really enjoy about this uh, community, man. This Stoic Outdoor uh, YouTube channel that I have. There's a lot of people that comment below. And uh, they, they like to use their own, uh, you know, methods and, and tricks to catch fish. And there's people that can come to this video and they can actually learn from other people as well as myself. Because when I started off fishing, man, I, uh, I actually reached out to a few people and it's crazy. Uh, I don't know what it is, but down here in the Rio Grande Valley, but there's some people that just do not want to give you their tips, do not want to give you their tricks, their secrets. But for me, man, I'm a mobile op- I am an open book. If I can teach someone, if someone can learn something from my video, even if it's just one thing, man, and it just sticks with them and they go out and it works for them, hey, comment below as well. Just say, hey, Stoic, I tried this out. It worked. Hey, Stoic, I tried this out. It didn't work. Well, we can learn together. We can try to push through this together as a community. So redfish fishing tip number one, specifically down here in South Texas, the Laguna Madre, specifically South Padre, Port Mansour, Royal City, all that good stuff. I like to use a lighter diameter line. I like using 10 pound power pro. Sometimes you can get it on sale for $8. So don't go out there and spend $20, $25 on a roll of line. I like using 10 pound. Why? You can really cast that lure out there. And yes, it makes a huge, huge different uh, difference, especially when you're fishing with a line of people. Cause I do a lot of weight fishing trips with my cousins. I do a lot of weight fishing trips with my buddies. And there's like four or five of us on the line, man. And sometimes my buddies are using 20 pounds. Sometimes my buddies are using 30 pound. And I like to use eight pound. I'm sorry, 10 pound. There's actually some of my buddies I like using eight pound as well. Why? When you're in a line, just remember you can cast that lure further out uh, as opposed to using a heavier diameter line. And that lure is not going to get the same casting distance as it would if you're using something lighter. That means a big di- that makes a big difference, especially if you're sight fishing. If it's super shallow, super clear, you remember if there's not much wind, even if there is a little bit of wind and you're shallow, every time you take a step, those South Texas breadfish are gonna hear the momentum. They're gonna hear the the movement. They're gonna hear the vibration in the water. They're gonna they're gonna get the ripples, the momentum, whenever you're walking, and that's gonna spook them. So if you're using something lighter, you can cast that lure five to ten yards further than your homie to your left or your homie to your right. 
that makes a huge difference, especially during tournament times, man. If you're going to be spending all that time and energy to wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning to go get your breakfast taco from Stripes, to go, uh, you know, flirt with the, the, the ladies, try to get some extra eggs in your taco, hey, make sure you use lighter diameter line. It's going to make a big difference, especially during tournament times. All that time, all that energy, all that money that you're spending just to even enter the tournament, man. Try to use lighter diameter line, diameter line, and see if it works out for you. So, South Texas Redfish Fishing Tip number number two. Know what lure you're going, you're going to be fishing with. I always say, start off, if you're going to be starting off, start off with a paddle tail. Why? Because that paddle tail, you literally cast it out there, give it a straight retrieve. That paddle, that tail is going to be doing all this crazy nonsense. It's going to be twerking. It's going to be doing this. And those red fishing trout are going to hear the vibration. They're going to spe- smell it. I like using scent on my lures. They're going to smell it. They're going to come in and they're going to hammer your lure. If you're also, if you want to try something else, try a shrimp. Everything eats a shrimp. Remember that redfish, trout, flounder. I know this this uh, video is about redfish, but that shrimp, everything's going to eat a shrimp. Sometimes you go out to fish a tournament and, and it's like a weird Calcutta uh, skipjack or a catfish. Hey, it's still going to eat that shrimp, remember. So know what lure you're going to be fishing with. Like I said, I recommend throwing a paddle tail, even a, a shrimp if you're going to be starting off. I have the Bay Villain. If you're interested, it's a little bit of a jerk shad. What do I mean by that? Throw it out there. Pop. Let that lure sit. Pop, pop. Let the lure dance in the water. That little lure, that little Bay Villain is 3.75 inches. It's a little bit smaller than your average lure that is out there. Why? Whenever you're fishing and you're throwing the same lure over and over again, especially down here in the valley, these fish are heavily, heavily pressured. So that's why I wanted to make a lure a little bit smaller, a little bit different, a little bit of a different profile. That was that way those redfish and trout can see it and they're gonna be like, yo, bro, what is that? That looks different. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat it. So use the Bay Villain Shop, StoicOutdoors.com. You can get this cap as well. Three inch gang. You can get this shirt. Stoic. I uh every time someone purchases something from my website, I always try to throw in a free sticker and I always put the money straight back into the channel, whether it be buying a mic buying this fancy camera, buying this external light, or buying this laptop that I'm using right here in front of me. Hey, everything counts. Every every uh, order, I, I really, really appreciate it. And uh, actually, speaking of that, I actually had some orders went out that I shipped out to Florida. The Bay Villain was going out to Florida. So if you guys watch this video and you're from Florida and you order my lures, I appreciate it. For those that are watching, use coupon code STOIC to save some money on your next order. So let's get to fishing tip Number three, use the right color whenever you are fishing. What do you mean by that, bro? Well, just remember, whenever you're fishing in Arroyo City, Port Mansell, or South Padre Island, the water that you're fishing is always going to dictate what color you're going to be throwing. Just remember, rule of thumb, if you don't get anything from this video, if you don't even want to be paying attention, just remember, light water, light color, dark water, dark color. Color meaning the type of lure you're going to be throwing, the color of lure you're going to be throwing. I have the purple goblin. It's purple, silver flakes, black flakes. It's got a shark tree's tail. Whenever I'm fishing dark water, murky water, I like to throw that. Why? Because that dark look, that dark lure, that dark color, it's really going to have a little bit of a darker profile in that water. It's going to really stand out. If you're throwing something like pink as well, I like throwing that as well. Because why? Shrimp. Going back to what I said earlier, everything eats a shrimp. But let's get back to the, what I was talking about. That dark color is going to have a darker profile. It's going to look a lot cleaner in the water. It's going to it's going to stand out. Those redfish, trout, and uh, flounder, they're going to be able to keen in on it. Especially since my lures are scented, they're going to come in and hit your lure. Whenever you're fishing something like super, super shallow and that water is super clear, I like to throw the, uh, the the white color that I have with the chartreuse tail. It's got some silver flakes. It's a little bit more natural. And why do I like throwing that color? That chartreuse tail, those ribs on the end, whenever you pop, it's going to have a little bit of, of, a, of a vibration. And if you don't like using that, hey, man, cut off the ribs. That lure is going to drop down to 3.5 inches. 
and it's gonna look like exactly it's gonna look exactly like an injured bait fish, an injured shad in that water, man. Try it out. If you guys uh wanna order my lures, use coupon code STOIC and you can use uh that coupon code and you can try out the lures for free. And if you guys have watched this video, drop a comment down below. Yo, bro, I ordered the lures and man, I'll hook you guys up, especially for this being the first Stoic Live. I'll try to put in some extra uh stickers, I'll try to put in some extra uh like patches for you guys, man, as well. So Quick recap, re dude, can't even talk, right? But hey, but that's how it goes. Stoic Live. We're gonna we're gonna leave this on here. I'm not gonna edit it as much as I normally do, but that's just how it goes. But red, redfish fishing tip number one: lighter diameter line. Get that extra casting distance. Trust me. And uh, fit, re South Texas redfish tip number two: know what lure you're gonna be throwing. Start off with a paddle tail or a shrimp, or use the bay villain. Redfish fishing tip number three: using the right color. For the water that you are fishing for so thank you guys for watching this video i know i had a lot of my plugs i had a lot of hey yo buy a shirt buy a cap but this that's just how it goes man when i first uh started off my youtube jam uh, journey i had a lot of people hitting me up yo bro can you use this yo bro can you use that and i did it because i like to help out my friends those guys weren't paying me but then I got to people that were actually going to be paying me to pr promote their product. But then they started getting me with, hey, bro, I need three videos a week. I need two pictures on Facebook a day. I was like, bro, that's cool and all. But remember, I'm not going to be, uh, remember what I said earlier, priorities. I'm not going to be rushing myself. I'm not going to be stressing myself. I'm not going to have anxiety or anything like that to try to post content. That's why I wanted to tie up this video at the, the very, very end. For those of y'all that do not know, I do work in law enforcement, man, and I've been doing it for 11 years, 12 years. So, man, I've been working sometimes 70, 80, 120 hour work weeks sometimes. So when I'm home, you guys would imagine I want to just hang out with my family. I want to just hang out sometimes and go fishing with my buddies. I do take my GoPros, but sometimes I just do not like to edit the videos. That's why I wanted to do this stoic live. So thank you guys for watching this video all the way through. For those of y'all that stick around to the end, I appreciate it each and every one of you guys make sure you like subscribe share this with your buddy hopefully this video gets uh you know at least four or five hundred views since i haven't posted in a while that you know the youtube algorithm wants you to be posting every day so haven't been posting every day so if it doesn't do that well at least i will know that hey, hey it's not just me it's not just my followers it's because of the youtube algorithm but i would really appreciate it if you like it share it comment below and even if you don't have anything good to say i always respond sometimes there's people out there that say something like yo bro your beard is whack yo bro that cap is horrible your designs are horrible i always respond thanks bro thanks for the view thanks for the thanks for watching because i always try to have a positive mindset a positive feedback a positive inter in interaction underneath my videos that way it still spikes the youtube algorithm thank you guys for watching as always like share and subscribe remember be resilient on the water and off peace thanks for tuning in subscribe and stick around for the next episode of stoic live